Do you know the difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification when you're buying a house? Well, if not, then stick around. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. Every day I got to work with some of the coolest people in the world relocating to my area. Many of them living here but commuting to New York City every day. If this sounds like you and you're looking for a place to live, go ahead and give me a call. I've got your back. In this week's video, I have a special guest. I'm joined by your local mortgage expert with over 18 years experience, Mike Aldi. Thanks so much for sitting with me today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Can you talk to us a little bit about what a pre-approval is versus a pre-qualification? I know working with a lot of different clients, um, I come across a lot of different letters from lenders and banks, um, and the verbiage can be slightly different, and it's really important to know the difference in that verbiage and how it could affect your qualifications, right? Absolutely. A thousand percent. Yeah. So... Most folks like myself that are out there uh, that have been doing this for a lot of years, they get it, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if they're going to sit down with a client, they know they need to be, you know, looking at the, the documents and things like that. So when we talk about a pre-qualification, mm -hmm. this could be, you know, hopefully you pulled credit and you maybe had a conversation with mm -hmm. the client. Typically, you haven't looked at anything. Mm -hmm. So right. you haven't actually verified you anything. You haven't verified It's just a conversation. Anything. Right. I make X amount of dollars a year. Right. Great. Exactly. So <laughs> really not worth the paper it's printed on. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes. A true pre-approval, um, we're going to sit down. We're going to obviously pull the credit report. Mm -hmm. We're going to vet the documents. We're going to run some scenarios. We're going to determine where that budget is, where mm -hmm. that monthly sweet spot is. Mm -hmm. We're going to run it through the automated system. Mm -hmm. As long as we get that approval, mm -hmm. now we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's verifying all the information, right? It's not just saying I made this. It's looking at the tax returns. It's pulling the credit. It's actually verifying the data. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that that's my process. Mm -hmm. Some folks don't go, you know, to that depth, but I, I do, mm -hmm. because it's, you know, when I'm working with partners like yourself, it's, you know, it's not only your reputation, it's my reputation, mm -hmm. right? Because you're if, if someone's referring me, and I'm sitting with that client, mm -hmm. I'm going to do the best po job possible, right? right? So mm -hmm. I want to, I want to unturn every stone. Mm -hmm. I don't want any surprises. <laughs> Right. There's already enough surprises in real estate. We don't need to add to it. <laughs> Is that not the truth? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and that's really important to know. Um, if you're a buyer out there and you are shopping around for a different lender or a bank or a mortgage broker and you're talking to them and you're going through that initial process, if they're not pulling anything, if they're not verifying anything and they say, oh, you're pre-qualified, um, I know a lot of buyers out there will assume, oh, I'm good to go. I'm going to just go out and see how. So we don't want you out looking and shopping for houses to find out maybe you can't qualify or there is a stone that wasn't unturned. So make sure that if you're a buyer out there and you're working with somebody that you're going through the full pre-approval process and not just the pre-qualification process. And, and that's exactly right. And to piggyback on that, you know, if you're looking at, you know, in any online company um, that just, you know, has some sort of quick pre-qual process, mm -hmm. I'm going to recommend to not do that. Mm -hmm. You know, reach out to the local expert because those online parties are, are not going to do the vetting that needs to be done, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You may make great money. You may have a lot of assets in the bank, but there could be something out there mm -hmm. that could prevent you from, from qualifying. Maybe you've co-signed on a loan for somebody mm -hmm. and you don't really understand the concept of that or, mm -hmm. you know, the implications that mm -hmm. that could have on you trying to qualify for a loan. Or you could make really good money, but if you're carrying a lot of debt, Absolutely. they may not approve you to take on, you know, another... Uh, loan or another piece of debt. Absolutely. Correct. Correct. Um, or I also know, uh, I've been, well, I've learned that um, medical collections can really stick on your credit for a very long time, right? Um, so things like that you might uncover through the pre approval process. Absolutely. Yep. And, the, you know, the medical piece, um, those types of collections, we can normally work around. 
Um, but still, it is it is something that we want to be aware of and, and see what's happening out there, mm -hmm. for sure. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comments section below. If you know anybody that can benefit from the information we're sharing here today, please share my video with them. So here's another question. Um, does getting pre-approved guarantee that they're going to be able to close on the house? If I'm doing the pre-approval, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, but not. But in the in, in the market in the industry, uh, not always. Mm -hmm. Not always. There's there's always something that can happen. Um, and even you know I, I joke saying that um, for myself. But you always try to to tell the client up front. You try to prepare them for as much as possible, mm -hmm. right? Especially mm -hmm. if they're first-time buyers, mm -hmm. they've never done this before. It can be overwhelming, mm -hmm. uh, and there's a lot of things that they might not think about, mm -hmm. like um, going to the furniture store and you know buying a whole new living room set and putting it on credit. Mm -hmm. That's no good. So I always tell the client once I pull the credit report, I walk through it with them. Mm -hmm. I say, "Let's here's your report today. Mm -hmm. Let's keep it." As is, keep this profile exactly the way it is. I don't want you to open any new credit cards. Mm -mm. Don't charge up what's out there. Mm -mm. Don't buy a new car. Mm -mm. Nothing on credit. Nothing. Right? Don't co-sign for anybody. They also can't spend their down payment either, correct? No large chunks of cash leaving the account as well, right? Money's leaving the account isn't... That's not so bad, um, assuming they have other seasoned funds elsewhere that we're mm -hmm. aware of, mm -hmm. um, it's money's coming in mm -hmm. that we're going to question. If mm -hmm. it's anything other than a, your, a payroll, mm -hmm. uh, something like that, we're going to question that deposit. Mm -hmm. We'll want to see a copy of the check or however it, by whatever means it came into the account. Mm -hmm. um, we'll okay. typically question that. But it's, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of the credit profile, mm -hmm. stay as is and you'll be good. Don't quit your job either. <laughs> yeah, don't quit your job. I've had that happen where a week before closing they quit and they said, oh, I should be fine. I'm going to get another one. I'm like... No, we got to start all over now because now you got to show what two months worth of income. Actually, and <laughs> well, it, and it's funny you say that. So I, I've had that happen several times. Um, if you're changing jobs in the same industry mm -hmm. and the comp plan is is basically going to be the same, mm -hmm. you're not going from a base salary to all commission. Mm -hmm. As long as you're keeping that comp plan as is, mm -hmm. it's really just one pay stub. Okay, that's good to that know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. keeps it easy. <laughs> it alleviates a little stress. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> but try not to change jobs during the process. No. <laughs> so once you've been pre-approved, not pre-qualified, being pre-approved, that's when you can go out and start shopping for a home. Like I said earlier, doing that before you sit down with somebody like Mike um, and really getting an understanding of where your budget is, is really just going to be a little bit of a wasted effort. Um, so once you get your pre-approval, that's when you go out and you start shopping for your next home. I just want to say thank you so much, Mike, for sitting down with me and explaining this process. You know, I get asked by a lot of buyers, what is the difference between a pre-approval and pre-qualification? So thank you so much for clarifying that. Oh, it's a pleasure. No problem at all. Happy so to be here. why don't you share with everybody um, how they can get in touch with you if they'd like to. Sure. Um, you can go to my website, which is homeloansbymikealdi.com, or you can reach me on my cell, which is 732-890-7838. And I'll make sure to include all of his contact information in the description box below, so you can go um, head there if you want to click right into his website. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. As always, thank you for your continued support. You know, I really enjoy making these videos for you every week. My goal is to make the content you're looking for, so if you have a suggestion for a future video topic, go ahead and leave it in the comments section below. I'll see you next week. Yep. Or the cicadas. Or, right. Just, you know, welcome to New Jersey. They flavor it up a little bit. Although I don't know that you can see Grass it. Grasshopper, yes. Can you see it? <laughs> go. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo!